come today and we say thank you. We say thank you for just another day's journey. We say thank you for another day, Father God, that we're able to call upon your name. We say thank you for everything that you've already done for us and everything that you will do for us and everything that you continue to do for us, Father God. We say thank you today for all the mothers, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that you let us be carriers of life, Father God, that you let us hold your precious belongings in our womb for nine months, Father God, and trust you, Father God, that you would grow us in the fear and the ammunition of what we needed to be, Father God, and then give us strength, Father God, to bring us forth into this world. Lord Jesus, we truly thank you as mothers, Father God. We thank you for mothers who have had children, Father God, and the mothers who are mothers to children, Father God. We just thank you for the opportunity, Father God, to just say, to be part of your program. Father God, we ask that you remove anything around us, Father God, that hinders our prayers, Father God. We just thank you that we can totally depend upon you, Father God, for everything that we need, for every day. Father God, we look, to, we look to you. In our Sunday school class, Father God, we learned about the three Hebrew boys, Father God, and they totally trusted and depended upon you. And these times and these places, Father God, we need to totally trust and depend on you because there's a lot of fiery furnaces out there, Father God, that have all of our names on it, Father God, but we know if we're thrown in and we trust in you, Father God, we will not be burned, Father God. We will not even smell like fire, Father God. So that we say thank you. We have a lot of sick, and I don't know if a lot of sick Father God, but we just have a lot of those who need prayer, Father God. And so I don't know all the names on the prayer list, but I ask, Father God, that you search the prayer list and everybody who needs a healing, Father God, please go by that they might touch the hem of your garment, Father God, that they might be made whole. Father God, Rama was spit on her finger and touched Nene's face and wiped her off, Father God. You healed the man with your spit and you touched his eyes, Father God. So I ask that you help us as mothers. Take our spit and clean off the things that our yes. children don't need on them, Father God, yes. so that they might be healed, Father God. Yes. We look at spit yes. as something terrible, Father God, but there's healing because it's got your precious spit, God, your precious water, Father God, that's a fountain that's filled that heals us, Lord Jesus. We just thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you for this place called unity that we come to worship, Lord Jesus. For everything that we need, we, Father God, we have it here in the house, and I thank you for all of us who are holding on to hands, Father God, that you touch us individually, and then you touch us collectively. Then we ask that you touch those gentlemen back there who are preparing a meal for us, Father God. For without you, Father God, there would be no children, Father God. So we thank you also for those men. We ask that you just sturdy, sturdy them, Father God, that they might be the men of God that we can follow behind as women, Lord Jesus. We just say thank you, Lord Jesus. And for the children, let them know that mothers are a blessing to be obedient to them, Father God, to listen to us. We pray over their beds. We pray over their sick rooms. We pray over their homework. We pray over their pencils. We pray, Father God, that they stay safe in school, Lord Jesus. For Father God, some mothers are crying this week because they lost their children in school. So, Father God, we ask that you just bless the schools that our children, grandchildren attend, Lord Jesus. We just say thank you, Lord Jesus. I don't have a lot enough words to say, but thank you, Lord Jesus. You have been good to me. You have been good to all of us. I can't take credit for anything. I just take the blood and stand, uh, stand beneath it, Father God, and say thank you. We ask that you continue to watch over us, guide us, and bless us, and we'll be ever mindful, Father God. Summers are coming. Watch over our children. Bless all the kids who have graduated, everybody who's went to school, Father God, and you have touched them. Nothing in, nothing out. So yes, when I look Lord. at report cards, I say they were taught that I can do all things through yes, Christ Jesus. Yes, so if they took that yes. to work what they were taught here, I'm yes. sure that all their grades will be fantastic yes. because there's nothing we can do, Father God, if we keep connected to you. So bless now and keep is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.